Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Nancy O'Dell is off. We have big star news to wrap up another week. Let's get you up to date. Here's tonight's top story. New details on a Hollywood murder mystery. Could Ashton Kutcher's testimony convict the man accused of killing his ex? Ashton Kutcher could be an interesting witness for timeline of the Ashley Ellerin case. It really is a terrifying story. Michael Thomas Gargiulo stands accused of murdering three women, including Ashton's then girlfriend. The 22 year old lived right here behind me in the heart of Hollywood. Now, according to court papers, Ellerin was preparing for a Grammy night party, a date with Ashton, when, according to police, Gargiulo broke into her home and stabbed her more than 47 times. Hey. Ashton was a rising star at the time, hitting it big in the sitcom That 70s Show. He was some picking her up, and he got to the house uh, and knocked on the door, and surprisingly, um, it was dark. So he decides to peer in this very large window in the front of the house. He told police when he arrived at approximately 10.45 p.m., he was able to see inside the home where he noted what he thought was a red wine-type stain on the floor. But sadly, it was Ashley's blood. She's not there, he leaves. And in truth, Ashley Ellerin was lying on the floor, having been murdered, allegedly, by Gargiulo. So he can describe time, time they were supposed to meet, what time did he see the stain. Um, and the sad part is he walked away and her body was in the living room. Susan Zarinsky is the senior executive producer of 48 Hours. The news magazine's reporting helped connect Gargiulo to a murder in a Chicago cold case. It wasn't until 48 Hours aired and two witnesses came forward that Chicago was able to nail him and charge him with this case. Gargiulo's pretrial hearing is on March 20th, and he, too, has a Hollywood connection. What's your name? Mike Gargiulo. In 1999, he had a small role as a boxer in a student film. Right now, he's in custody in downtown L.A. This is a real nightmare that I'm living. He maintained his innocence in a jailhouse interview with 48 Hours. My truth is being 100% innocent, being wrongfully charged. If you want to learn even more about this story, just go to our website, ET Online.